Hello everyone, welcome to the Freestyle. I'm Scott. I'm Clint. Doing another video vlog. And today we're going to be talking about Season 1, Episode 3 of Gotham, The Balloon Man. Um, yeah, so, uh, yeah, this one had more of a little Pfeiffer. And yeah, whatnot. Probably definitely. like a, yeah, I feel like they nailed that casting. Or at least, like, that person looks <laughs> exactly like Michelle Pfeiffer. <laughs> yeah, she she does have the Catwoman look to her. Yeah. I feel like uh, I'm getting that kind of vibe from this whole show. It's real Batman, Batman Returns y and whatnot. Yeah, speaking of Batman, that's one of the things that's really bothering me about that show is just, like, the Bruce Wayne character. The way he's just, like. Throwing around being like, I am the knight. <laughs> yeah, seriously. <laughs> he's like, hold on, Bruce, you've got 10 years, I got it. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 Alfred. I'm going out next Saturday, and I'm stopping crime. So I'm burning my hand off on the buildings. I'm not eating. Get my body in the right position. <laughs> Start digging the cave out right now. <laughs> See, you have a sword fight, old man. <clears throat> yeah, that's, that's one of the things the mom really like, like too hot on the show about is uh, Alfred. Although, like in this episode, it's probably like the mo most likable he's been. And shit. Yeah. All the other times it's just been like, he's like, oh, you guys are talking about me behind my back? Stop sticking up a kiss, you little bitch! <laughs> I'll beat you again! <laughs> he yeah. almost, he's like verbally abusing him to the point where I think he's actually physically abusing him. <laughs> it's just like, did he burn his hand? <laughs> it's like, yeah, it's like, you just see it, like Alfred's underneath with the candlestick stick. <laughs> it's like the plot twist. Gordon, like, figures it out, like, halfway through the show. Yeah, he's been, like, a real dick. Yeah. Yeah, up until this, like, weird sword fight. <laughs> Yeah, it seems like the only fun they've had. Even, like, as his parents were dying, it was like, stand up straight, <laughs> like, while they're walking away. Um, yeah, he's, he's definitely, like, the, like, I guess the, one of the other things, like, I totally thought from all the promos that, uh, we were just gonna have Penguin be in the city and shit like that, doing whatever, but, uh, to have him, like, get thrown out really early on, and then he's all, <laughs> of course he, uh, you know, after, after fucking up that, uh, ransom. Yeah. <laughs> Man, he's just a huge fuck up. <laughs> yeah, that's one thing I, I don't really like him, like, the way it's like, instead of him being, like, a rich guy, it's just like, oh, he's just, like, some crazy gangster who looks like a penguin. It's like, he really, like, got away with being a penguin because he has a shitload of money. So, I don't know. Yeah, well, I guess, I'm pretty, you know, I guess we're totally gonna see his, like, rise to power. And he seems like, in the, in this world with without a Batman we're having like fucking balloon men <laughs> they know vigilantes there'll be more of me there'll be more balloons the balloons are made for the sky <laughs> that guy was so crazy <laughs> <laughs> it's just like <laughs> like every like just like the thought just like the image of just <laughs> oh he's just like oh he handcuffed him to a balloon and that that's how he's gonna kill that, that's, that's happening that, that, yep, yep. Yep. yep, there he yep, goes. Yeah, he just, he just balloon murdered somebody. And then that one cop just, like, drifting away with a gun hanging from his holster. What am I gonna do? <laughs> I'm so fucked. And then they bring in that one guy who has to tell fucking Gordon and fucking Harvey Bullock how balloons work. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean they don't go to the moon? <laughs> you see, they go up and then they come back You down. tell me right now! <laughs> Yeah, that's probably one of my favorite things is the Harvey Bullock. Like, yeah. I remember seeing that guy in something else before, and he was really funny. Yeah, he's he's totally he's yeah. nailing this uh, shitty guy. <laughs> well, I, I think another thing is like a lot of the actors are like nailing who they're supposed to be. Yeah, I just don't really care about who they are, so that's what's hurting it for me. Yeah, I feel like we're pretty uh, probably gonna be pretty invested in this penguin guy though. Yeah, it seems like yeah. that'd be the villain for the entire series. Yeah, like, without Batman, we got freaking James Gordon being all, like, the main person that we have, or this show. I feel like Penguin's gonna, is, like, trying to deal that, like, Joker spotlight up. It's like, yeah. I'm crazy, and I'll stab people with knives. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pretty He's much. a creepy-looking dude, though. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, it seems like everybody's, like, bringing it. Like, they, like, they all really want the show to succeed, it seems like. But... Yeah, I mean, like, if... Uh, like, I guess, like, some of the, I mean, I, I mean, I guess the writing with the, you know, cops not knowing how to lose. It's pretty that classic. And Penguin coming back, not changing his haircut, just, like, wearing a yellow sweater, and some guy, like, immediately, like, recognized him. He's like, no, no, I'm Marco. <laughs> not even American. Penguin, we know each other. 